I am absolutely destroyed by that. <laughs> Oh, well, that was a slow start this morning. It's about midday now. Just took me forever to do anything packing up, but I'm on the road. I'm just rolling out of Borg now towards the base of the Cold Dawn on, which is my first climb of the day. There is a serious headwind though along this road. Jesus, it's hard work just doing 20 kilometers an hour on the flat. Here we go, just starting out on the Ornon now. It's a nice steady climb this, it's about 11k at about 6%. So, I mean, I think it's gonna be a headwind, but it's not too bad. But the next climb to come is terrifying. I've just looked at my Garmin, it says it's 7k, but 10% average gradient, which if that's true, that is gonna kill me. I'm not looking forward to that, but I mean, that'd be, that'd be scary enough on a normal road bike without bags on, but yeah. We'll deal with it when we come to it, but after that, it's not too bad. There's sort of a final climb up to the campsite, but it's more of a long sort of 10, 15K, three, 4% drag, so they're never too bad. Yeah, let's get going. I know it doesn't look like it, but it has appeared to have brightened up a little up the valley. There was some proper dark clouds up there earlier. So let's hope I can stay dry. I'm not about getting wet again today. It pissed it down last night and that was annoying enough. About halfway up the on now, it's all right this climb. It's nice and steady. I've done it enough times before as well, so I know it quite well. Um, yeah, it is lovely up here as well. Dead quiet, really like quite green valley. But you are on the side of it, so you get to like some jaggedy cliff bits every so often as well, which is quite fun. But yeah, feeling really tired now. And I've got a ridiculously hard week ahead to finish this trip, but I just gotta keep pushing on, I guess. I also can't stop checking my emails because there's a race I've entered in September that last night emailed out saying, in the next two days, we'll let you know if you've got an entry or not. And it's always a bit of a, a bit of a ballot to see if you can get in as well, so. A little bit nervous about that, checking my emails all the time. Right, well that's the on complete. Now, down this horrible headwindy valley to this next one which looks absolutely brutal it's about 700 meters climbing in about seven kilometers so this is gonna absolutely kill me but gotta be done and yeah let's, let's get back on the bike and keep moving you can see my um makeshift washing line on the back i hope i don't lose any of the clothes but yeah all right let's get cracking <laughs> Seven k, ten percent maximum gradient of twelve. This is actually terrifying. Seven hundred meters in seven k. This is going to kill me. Well, it started that steady that we've now got eleven percent remaining for the last five and a half k. Jesus, I am not ready for this. Absolutely destroyed by that. We've made it though. 
goes for 6k at about 11 percent or maybe even higher than that average there was even a 12 percent k in there but yeah jesus have you seen how much i've been sweating it's ridiculous i really need to go find some water now um but yeah once we've descended off this then it's just like a steady drag up a valley to the campsite basically still quite a long way about 50 probably about 50k to go but yeah oh it's hot and that was a really difficult climb i'm just gonna have a quick break and then i'm gonna get down this descent I'm over and done with that previous climb down the descent, stopped for a supermarket for a little bite to eat. And now I'm going uphill again. Um, it's only 4K at about 3%, so a really steady little one along this river. But um, yeah, it's just a long, heavy day, really. I'm hoping to be at the campsite for about half six. But we're at about quarter past four now. I've only got 30K to go, but it is all net uphill. So yeah, we'll just keep ticking away. I'll catch up with you in a bit. Well, that's the top of that one. Wasn't too bad, to be honest with you. Just keeping focus now. Lovely little back road there through loads of villages. 15k to go now, but oh my God, I've been struggling. It's been a block headwind basically all day. Um, I've got a climb to go up now, so hopefully the wind won't be a bigger factor, but it's just so demoralizing, that wind. Like, and it's pretty hot and just, just feels heavy. I don't know if, that, if you know what that means, but I do, everything just feels really heavy. Um, yeah. yeah, it's just been a hard day. Just need to enough of that. I'm gonna put another podcast on and just, just try and keep it moving, really. Oh, we're just starting the last climb of the day. It's only 8K at about 4%, but yeah, I'm tired. It's gonna take ages, but just taking it steady with a podcast in. It's lovely up here, but I am knackered. About 100 metres more climbing to go over about 4k. So just steady now. Oh, it's been hard today, but we're nearly there now. Only about 3 or 4k to go and not much more climbing. I just realised I never actually filmed anything last night when I got to the campsite. So I'll finish, I'll finish the video now. Um, yeah, yesterday was a hard day. Like just keeping it moving was a challenge but i got here and had a decent diet to eat got a shower and everything and yeah i'm feeling all right this morning woke up dead early actually i got quite an early night got into bed about about nine o'clock so it was pretty good and best news yet i found out i got into the peak so buzzing about that um yeah so i think well, when basically when i get back from this trip then i'm gonna have to um have a bit of a recovery week and then training begins so that's that's exciting but yeah right i'll leave it there for today and I'll catch up with you tomorrow.